Hey guys, this is Zach here at IndieSource. We're gonna talk a little bit today about some of the questions that you have that are on your mind, that are concerning you, that you're struggling with. So, Johnny, take it away. What are the questions of the day? The question of the day is about social marketing. We wanna know the benefits of Facebook ads, <laughs> and we're gonna talk a little bit about sales funnels as well. Okay. The biggest problem right now when I look at any of the brands that uh, we're working with or that we have gotten started is simply that they're not advertising on Facebook and Instagram. They're not pu putting any marketing spend to get in front of the people that they need to reach. There's so many problems with this, but one of the main problems is that if you do not spend any money to get in front of these people, you can never figure out who is most likely to buy your product. Now the cool thing is that there's this nifty little website you can go to called Facebook Ads. You just type Facebook Ads Library and you can see any single brand and whether they're running ads. So you can type in IndieSource right now and you can see all the ads we're running. You can type in your competitor's brands and you can look and see all of your competitor's uh, ads and exactly what they're running. Now this is very good for your strategic research so you can get a sense of what your competitors are saying to the end consumers and what's resonating. Kind of like using their money a little bit, right? But most importantly, what this means is that if you're not spending money to, to put your ads in front of people, you're not capturing the data that you need to get people in front of you. Now in the very beginning, whether you have product or you're just starting and you're uh, sort of like building your collection, doing samples and, and starting to, to be ready for inventory, you need to start to get some information and some data. And so what we really uh, advise our brands to do is to start to, to actually put some information out there that is reflective of the brand that you wish to create. So I was talking to um, a couple earlier today and they were asking me, well, what do I put out if I don't have product yet? Like what, what would I even share? Okay, I get that. One of the things I want you guys to start to think about is separating your product from your business. So your business needs to start with in a feeling uh, and an emotional connection, a why. And so for any of you guys that have seen like Simon Sinek talk about Start With Why, he gives a, really, uh, a bunch of really cool examples of very successful businesses who uh, have kind of moved beyond just their products. And so Apple is the big one that they use in his example, and he talks about how they, they give people a sense of belonging and creativity, and they urge people all around the world to think differently, and they happen to sell computers. And so as you go out and you are thinking about your brand, I want you guys to consider what's the why behind what you've created? What's that thing that you're all about? You happen to make products, and you maybe happen to make really, really incredible ones, right? Because we know we're gonna make great products. But start with the concept behind the brand and start thinking about what you can create, what would be of value to the people that you wanna reach that has nothing to do with the product. And you can start putting that content out there now. What you wanna do is you wanna to start to drive people to your website, to a landing page, where you can at least start to get emails and collect emails. With those emails, you can start to send out information. This kind of ties into your next question about funnels, right? So the best thing that I can explain in terms of like a good funnel when we're talking about direct to consumer is that you want to be able to capture information of people uh, so that you have their attention to reach back out to them. And so the more emails that you can capture, people raising their hand and saying, I'm interested in this product even though it doesn't exist yet. I want to learn more. I want to see the journey of you getting there. If you can share that story, you can get people to sign up on to your landing page and give you their information, then what you will do is start to give them insight into what's happening here, into how you're building the product, and show them what you're creating. And anybody that has launched a successful Kickstarter campaign, I know a lot of you want to do that, but anybody who has done it successfully would tell you that there's one key thing that differentiates those who are successful and those who are not, and that is that they start well before the campaign starts and they already have an audience to reach out to. And so way before you hit the day one of the Kickstarter, they've been amassing more emails and more fans and people who are interested in the product so that as soon as when that pre-sale goes, goes live, they can blast an email to thousands of people and say, hey, we're now live, we want you to invest in this product, be our first customer, and we'll throw in all these extra goodies. So think about that. There's no time that's too early to begin to brand yourself and to start to create content around what it is that you're all about. 
every one of you is gonna be unique, but consider what that will be for you. When you're, if you do not know how to run ads, or if you've run them for a couple of days and you did a boosted post and like nothing happened, that does not mean that Facebook doesn't work. It just means that you need somebody with the expertise to actually run them properly who really understands this. Now this is, this is a profession, guys. It's called ad ops. There are people who run ads for a living. This is all that they do. So if you're serious about launching, I really recommend that you start working with a team. We do it here and we can run your ads driving traffic to your product if you have it or driving traffic to a site that starts to tell people about your vision and you know we're happy to share with you as much as possible and, and if uh, you know after three four five months you want to take it over yourself we're happy to give you back the reins and you can run the ads yourself but in the beginning the most important thing is that you begin to collect data on your customers. The cool thing about Facebook and Instagram and a lot of these tools is that in the back end, when you're targeting people, you can, you can see like everything. I know it's a little crazy, but you can target geographic areas. You can target people that have certain kinds of phones. You can target people with certain interests. So consider who you might want to reach and make sure that you're using that, uh, the back end uh, and all of the data that you're given because it's, there's never been an easier time in history to reach the people that you want to reach. So don't be scared and contact us if you're interested. Uh, we have a marketing deck we can send you. So give us a shout if you want us to send it to you. There are three main areas that we're focusing on right now. One is the growth, growth marketing, Facebook and Instagram, and just ads for driving traffic to your site today, not later on, immediate uh, feedback that you'll get. The second thing is websites. Very simple Shopify. We don't want to make it too complicated. We're just building simple Shopify e-com sites. And then the third thing is product photography. We have a studio right here. We have amazing photographers in Los Angeles that come here and work with us. So if you need any photography done, give us a shout and let us know what you're looking to do. We just bill hourly for that. So it can be done a la carte. And if you're interested in any of these services, we're running some promotion. There's some really, really big discounts for folks that are, are working with us on those projects. Uh, John, you have any other questions? That's it. All right, that's it. Hopefully that was helpful, guys. And let us know if you have any other questions. Talk soon.